Hello, guten Tag. I know I just butchered your language, I apologize. But hello my favorite people, it's that time of year again. Tis the dang season. Christmas is approaching and what do we do every year around Christmas time? I don't know if y'all celebrate Thanksgiving, so if you do, just let me know and we'll do content about that. However, the big holiday that's coming up, Christmas. And every year we check out um, European Christmas markets. And I just found out that I actually have Christmas mar markets local to me that I can go vlog and experience and show you guys. Obviously, I know it's not gonna be as crazy as y'all's Christmas markets, but it's still, I think, gonna be a fun experience to like discover what Christmas markets have to offer. I know the European ones have like food and gifts and drinks and like events and just everything is so fun and elaborate for European Christmas markets which right now I can't go over to Europe, so I experience it through a screen. So let's get into it. Let's do these reactions. Subscribe if you're new here, like the video, comment some other countries that have crazy Christmas markets. But right now I'm mainly focusing on the German ones because I know those are always hot and popping. So subscribe, like, follow the Instagram and the TikTok, and let's get into these dang Christmas markets. I love these videos. It the just, lights, it's so fun. The treats, the nostalgia. There's hardly a better way to get in the festive mood than strolling through a Christmas. Holy f excuse my language. That's a two, two tier carousel. And there's adults on it. See, this is what I mean. It just all looks so fun. This market. That's why so there's almost 3,000 of them across Germany. We take you to some of the country's most beautiful Christmas markets and show you what specialties you ought Oh my God, that ornament was 18, 18 bucks? 15 bucks for an ornament. I would need to save to travel to freaking Germany because what the heck, so expensive. Christmas markets and show you what specialties you ought to try there. And mm. without giving away too much, Santa isn't the only Christmas legend we'll meet. Oh. Have fun. Nur Our first Nuremberg. destination is Nuremberg's Christkindlesmarkt, probably Christ the most famous in Germany. Hmm. It is traditionally opened by the Christchild, and the prologue on the gallery of the Frauenkirche Church is broadcast by Aww. television stations around the world. Das Christkindlesmarkt ist ein Markt für alle, und wer da kommt, der soll willkommen sein. See, it's more than just like a shopping experience. It feels like it's a special event of the community. Like everyone comes together to sing, to experience the same like tradition. And it's just not about shopping or buying stuff. Like it feels like it's, like there's a culture there, you know? Culinary delights are aplenty at the Christkindlesmarkt. First, Nuremberg Roastbratwurste. Sausage? They are so small that three of them fit into a roll, which is called Treimwickla. Huh. I'd try it. I'll try anything. At least once. But a sausage burger. Don't know. Also, I know y'all's food regulations are so much different over in Europe, so it will taste probably different to me. Second, the Elysian gingerbread. Ooh. Legend has it that in the Middle Ages, a baker whose daughter Elisa had fallen ill put lots of nuts and spices into the gingerbread dough. Upon eating it, Elisa immediately recovered. That very special we mixture of spices and nuts is the secret of Nuremberg gingerbread to this day. Oh, I love the little folklore stories. Our Lubeck. journey continues to Lübeck. The Holsten Gate, mm -hmm. a landmark mm -hmm. of this northern German town, is a recurring motif at Lübeck's Christmas market. From all the... A medieval wait, wait, wait. All the reactions we've done about Germany, I, I now understand like it's a way bigger country and has so many more different cities than I even expected. Don't get me started on y'all's islands. I still can't fathom that. But all the different cities that we've like learned about in these reactions, it always takes me by surprise. Like we're still hearing about ones that I've never heard of before. Town such as this is like the Ludenberg? perfect backdrop for a Christmas market. In fact, the German tradition of Christmas markets dates back to the Middle Ages. That's where people could buy everything they needed for the festivities, from gifts to roast meats and sweets. And things are not at all that different today. Y'all like cherish meat. Meat is not like, like we'll eat a steak here or a little meatloaf, but it's not like, um, it's not your go-to like special occasion type of thing. You don't immediately think of meat. Hmm. An old seafaring city, Lübeck, has connections all over the world, 
Perhaps that's why visitors to its Christmas markets are so international. I come from Sweden. Sweden! I come from Cuba. Cuba! I come from Venezuela. Venezuela! Brazil! Brazil! I come from Thailand. Thailand! I come from Brazil. Brazil! Portuguese. Tudo bem. No Americans. Aside from the delicious mulled wine, Lübeck is famous for a confection which is part of Germany's Christmas tradition. Lübeck marzipan is made with ground almonds and lots of sugar. Hmm. So nuts are a big deal for these Christmas markets. If you oh, prefer Bremen. Party fair, head to the Christmas market in Bremen, also Bremen. in the north, where the speciality is kale. You lost me at vegetables. I thought it was going to be like a little porridge or a, uh, a mushy meat mixture. Then he said vegetables. Where the speciality is kale. Also, ich finde, das gehört irgendwie dazu zu der Adventszeit. Oh, I love it. Like... deftiger mag. I want to learn how to speak German. It sounded so pretty. Is kale. Also, ich finde, das gehört irgendwie dazu zu der Adventszeit. Vor allem, wenn man es ein bisschen deftiger mag. Why is it everybody else is like bilingual, trilingual, whatever, but Americans aren't? Because why can she, she could probably speak English, English and German, but I can't speak German. Maybe also though, because y'all are all neighboring so many different countries that speak so many different languages, but here in America, like all the states also just speak one language and all the people have to come and bring their languages to America. You know what I mean? But it would be nice to be able to speak multiple languages. Kale is the winter dish in Bremen. That's crazy. Thanks to its vitamins and shelf life, it was vitamins. already popular with the ancient seafarers. A more modern invention, however, is the kale box to go. Imagine pulling up to McDonald's. Yeah, can I get a kale box? Healthy people. Okay, Germany. Shout out to you and your... Um, do y'all have like a, a food... Government that controls what you can eat and stuff, because they're doing it right. Shout out to y'all. The box has a background that you can take the box in the hand and you can go to the Christmas market. Do I look like a rabbit? You can eat on the way, you can't eat on the way. Kale is served with kassla, boiled sausages and potatoes. So what does the kale box to go taste like? It's like a balanced meal. Mine also. Yeah? Yeah. Ohne Güte. Okay, I thought I should way to wash down the kale than with a cup of mulled wine. Okay, I take back everything I said. A little box of like meat, potatoes, uh, vegetables, kale, and then wine on the side. Like that, that sounds like a nice, like that'll put me to sleep. Uh, in the Christmas spirits, just like my full belly. Santa Claus, I'm um, doing what he does with his sleigh and reindeer somewhere, and I just go to sleep. That's a vibe. Shout out to the makes a wine organic. Hmm. For which there is a special committee. Die Little Besonderheit cups. unseres Glühweins ist, dass wir den in Rot, Weiß und Rosa haben und dass auch extra immer ein Team vom Weihnachtsmarkt den mit einem Sommelier verkostet und dann auch noch mal verfeinert. Mm. No, this, honestly, the beauty and magic of the Christmas markets, every video is just like amplified. The Germans, like, y'all are living well. Oh, so you can make a difference. Did you know that the Christmas market at Cologne Cathedral is the largest in Germany? Before oh. Corona, it attracted four million visitors in just four weeks. Oh, wow. Whether four those numbers weeks, will be repeated million. this year remains to be seen. What year was this made? Because we're, we're about to end 2023. This was made. Oh, so. 10 months ago. This was made last year. So someone let me know, are the Christmas markets like popping again or did they die off? Like did the tradition die off after co- I can't say the word monetization reasons, but oh, that would make me so sad. I hope they, if, if this tradition has lasted since the middle ages, just to like end because of um, the, the pandemonia, that's terrible. No, someone let me know, because now I'm sad. I'll never get to experience a German Christmas market. Dang. <laughs>